Welcome to section 3 of the High Charts video course. In this section, we will find out how to make our charts a little more interactive, enhancing the user experiments of our website. In this video, we're going to add drill down functionality to our line chart. For this, we're first going to have another look at our line chart and define how the drill down should behave. Then, we're going to add new data to the chart and configure the drill down functionality to show that newly added data when a point on the chart is clicked. This is the current state of our dashboard. We want to add drill down functionality to our line chart here. Drill down means that the chart is supposed to show more detailed data when a point on the chart is clicked. Each point currently represents the number of page hits on one day. Now, if we click on a point on the chart, we want the chart to show the page hits for each hour during that day instead. Let's find out how we can do this by looking at the code. As you can see, I restructured the files a little for this exercise. I created a subfolder for each dashboard, one named Stocks and one named Webstats. Also, in the Webstats dashboard, I pulled the line chart configuration into its own file called linechart.js and included this file in the HTML file. This JavaScript file is where we want to add the drill down configuration. First, we need to define what data should be displayed when clicking on each point in our chart. The chart has 30 points, one for each of the last 30 days, so we need to define 30 additional data series, each containing 24 data points, one for each hour of the day. For this, we create an array called drill down series, which will hold our 30 drill down series. We loop from 29 down to 0 for each of the last 29 days plus today. For each day, we calculate the midnight date of that day and store that in the variable start date. Next, we create an array of 24 random numbers, one for each hour of the day. In real chart, this data would not be generated randomly, of course. Finally, we create a series object with the calculated start date a point interval of one hour and the randomly created data. Also, the series needs an ID so we can use it later to configure the drill down. This series object is pushed onto the drill down series array, making it an array of 30 series objects with 24 random data points each. We can add this array to the chart configuration now using the drill down configuration option like this. We're not done yet though because the chart doesn't know which of the series in the array to show when one of the data points is clicked. So we have to configure some kind of mapping between the data points of the original series and our drill down series. To do that, we add the drill down configuration to each of the data points of the original series like this. In the drill down configuration of each point, we simply define the ID of the series that is to be displayed when the point is clicked. In the code above, we simply use the ID 0 through 29, so we just use the same IDs here. The actual value of the point is moved into the Y configuration here. Finally, we have to include one more JavaScript file into our HTML file. The name of that JavaScript file is drilldown.js, which is provided by HighCharts. So let's save the code and have a look at the result. The chart looks just like before, which is expected. Once you click on a point, though, the chart changes to show 24 random data points going from midnight to 11 p.m. on the day you clicked. Once you drill down, High Charts automatically shows a button you can use to go back to the main chart. It's labeled with the name of the main series by default. If you want to display a different label on this button, you can configure the text in the language configuration of High Charts, which you can look up in the API documentation. So that's our drill down chart. Let's review this video. To create a drill down chart, you have to create a data series for each of the points that should have a drill down functionality and connect the points to the series by ID. 
Also, we learned that data points can be more than just numbers, but instead they can contain a whole JSON structure with several attributes. We only use the attributes called drill down and Y here. Have a look at the API documentation to see what else you can configure for each point. In the next video, we're going to teach our charts to interact with form input components.